The Highland Park apartment complex woke up to a frightening scene this morning. Their carport was fully engulfed in flames. Now, the flames broke out uh, just after 2 this morning at the Arroyo Seco apartments on Brenner Street. KCON 9's Joy Benedict is live at the scene to show us all of the damage. And Joy, this was a huge fire. A huge fire and simply terrifying for so many people who lived here, Amy, as they simply saw a wall of fire and not really sure where it was coming from. But take a look at the damage here the morning after as the sun is now starting to come up. And this entire carport used to be filled with cars. What is left behind is simply, well... A lot and a lot of ash and just the remnants of the cars behind it. And if you look over here to the left, I don't know if we can get all the way over. It shows you just how close that fire came to this building. But the good news is the building is still standing. Well, this was the sight and the sounds at about 2 o'clock this morning. As you can see, those flames roared, going about 40 feet high into the sky and threatening the structure of this three-story condo building out here. Now, firefighters arrived very quickly, and when they were here, they had 12 vehicles that were on fire. They say that quickly spread to about 15 vehicles. They were able to contain the fire to the carport area for the most part. However, there is some structural damage to the building. If a about six apartments that have windows that are blown out. You also have some water damage and some smoke damage. And I'm told one bedroom inside did suffer a little bit of fire damage, but it should be okay with a little bit more paint. But firefighters on the scene talking to the battalion chief, they say, you know what? They were here, but what really saved this building wasn't in fact the firefighters, but it was the people who lived here. He said when he arrived, they had eight house lines, those hoses that are inside the interior of the building, through the apartment, spraying down the balconies, doing everything they could to save this building and quite frankly he says it worked. We simply just woke up to uh, popping of tires and uh, smoke and neighbors knocking on doors saying fire and we came out and the entire uh, carports were on fire. I mean, just a terrifying situation, but really a story of neighbor helping neighbor. The smoke detectors went off. Someone pulled the fire alarm for the building. Everyone grabbed hoses. The fire department says when they came out here, there were 60 people out here trying to fight this fire on their own. And again, they did a great job. Of course, very sad to see all the loss here behind us. Also, a lot of storage units behind those cars. But the best news is, Amy, everyone is safe and no one was injured. And this damage can, of course, be replaced. I'll send it back to you. All right, Joy, thank you so much for that.